hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers and uh, in this video we are going to again discuss about torque measurement in the previous video we discussed the uh, measurement of torque through simple torsion bar here in this video uh, again the same thing but it is combined with another uh, transducer which will act as the secondary transducer here to give us a direct electrical output it will be with the help of strain gauge torsion bar combined with strain gauge so again we all know that uh, torque basically is the turning effect of a force okay so that turning effect is the product of the force which is applied and the perpendicular distance from the point of application of the force and the axis of rotation okay the fixed point so that is the product of the force that is applied and the perpendicular distance so here we have to measure the same torque with the help of a uh, strain gauge so the setup is something like this where again we have a hollow cylinder and inside that hollow cylinder we have four strain gauges four strain gauges that are placed with respect to 45 degree angle from the central axis okay the central axis line passing through the center of the cylinder with respect to that at 45 degree angle with respect to this axis we have four strain gauges placed so as to form a bridge kind of a setup okay bridge and then this cylinder is subjected to turning force that is torque now before uh, going deep into this we have already discussed strain gauge i have made a video related to it so we'll just brush through it so strain gauge is a uh, especially a primary transducer but here it has it is used as a secondary transducer it can be used for measurement of strain stress displacement force pressure and it operates on the principle of piezo resistive effect okay change of resistance because of uh, no stress that is applied on it deformation so we know resistance is given by rho l by a where rho is resistivity l is the length of the material a is the cross sectional area of the material so there are three ways in which resistance can be changed because of change of resistivity which is not the question here which is not the case here the only two ways that uh, it can be changed in case of strain gauge is through change in length and cross sectional area because of deformation so resistance is directly proportional to length inversely proportional to cross sectional area so an increase in length will cause an increase in resistance decrease cause a decrease in resistance inversely proportional to cross sectional area so an increase in cross sectional area causes a decrease in resistance and vice versa so which is uh, given as per these relationships so strain gauges is generally uh, consists of this kind of a setup where we have a fixed platform and we have turns of wires connected across it and the other end is movable the movable end is subjected to force because of which these wires are subject to deformation causing a change in their length and deformation area depending upon the fact whether they are getting compressed or expanded if they are getting compressed then length will decrease area will increase if they are expanding then length will increase area will decrease so depending on that there are two parameters which are very important with respect to strain gauge poisson's ratio and gauge factor 
So Poisson's ratio is the ratio between the per unit change in diameter to the per unit change in length because we are considering wires here so the diameter gives us relationship with respect to the cross-sectional area and uh, it is also given as the lateral strain by longitudinal strain. Longitudinal strain means the per unit change in length, lateral strain which is the per unit change in diameter. Gauge factor, another important parameter which is given as the per unit change in resistance to the per unit change in length. Okay, so this is the relationship between gauge factor and Poisson's ratio. So here, if we put these things into play here, when this hollow cylinder is subjected to turning effect, okay, these strain gauges they behave as four arms of a Wheatstone bridge. Okay, they behave as four arms of a Wheatstone bridge, and depending on which one gets compressed and which one gets expanded, okay, which pair of strain gauge it is subjected to compression and which pair is subjected to expansion, depending on the direction of turning, there will be a change in resistance in each of these strain gauges. And as a result of that, the bridge will become unbalanced and it will give us an electrical output. Okay, it will give us an electrical output. It can be fed to suitable signal conditioning circuitry, amplification, filtering, noise cancelling, then linearization and that will give us an output. So, the proper mathematical relationship which can be used to uh, establish a relationship between the you know, the torque which is produced and the strain which these strain gauges are subjected to that is given by this relationship where the strain which each strain gauge is uh, subjected to which are placed at 45 degree angle it is given by this relationship okay strain again lateral strain longitudinal strain per unit change in diameter to per unit change in length okay that so here that relationship is given by strain for each of the strain gauge at 45 degree it can be plus minus 2t by pi g r subscript o to the power 3 where t is the torque which is transmitted or to which the cylinder is subjected to G is the modulus of rigidity and R0 is the outer radius of the cylinder okay this plus and minus because depending upon uh, which pair of strain gauges they get compressed which one gets expanded it can be uh, no in positive and negative in sign but equal in magnitude okay the magnitude will be fixed but it can have positive or negative sign depending upon which one gets compressed which one gets expanded okay so this uh, is used as a signal conditioning circuitry for strain gauges we can use voltage divider circuitry which can we can use Wheatstone bridge also and to get a proper voltage or current signal and then further signal conditioning and processing to give us a proper electrical output Analog to digital conversion can also be used to give us a digital readout that is also possible. So this is the basic principle. So again here simple torsion bar which we discussed in the previous video is combined with strain gauges, no, four strain gauges and that gave us a relationship between the strain and torque which is produced. Okay, so here we have discussed torsion bar combined with strain gauges for torque measurement. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.